Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Motorhomes here. Going to take you on a tour of the latest Element 27 going out the door. So the Element 27 is based on the Oveco 70C 210 chassis. It's around 8.6 metres long from the very tip of the nudge bar where the spare tire on the back. It's got the higher output engine, it's got 8 speed auto. Has the airbag suspension, electronic diff lock, and the three option packs from Oveco. So that includes things like heated seats, Apple CarPlay, radar cruise, tire pressure monitoring, GPS, multifunction steering wheel, traction plus, downhill assist, a whole heap of tech features, lane departure warning. So that's good. So that's the basics of the truck. Let's start looking at some details. So the front cab, you'll notice we've got the side steps, this is a standard feature, and also the integrated courtesy light up here. So when you unlock it or open the door, they'll light up, you can't really see it in the daylight at the moment. Right. The electric awning, this is the carefree awning, it's got the Bluetooth module as well as the wind sensor, so if it does get windy it will pack itself away, you can control it from an app on your phone. Compartment at the front. We've got the generator fuel tank, which is around 35 litres, and also access to part of the slide out uh, drive unit. So there's one here, one in the battery compartment. That makes very easy access for manual override if that ever needed to be done. Got your double electric step here. So that's electric. Push your button to go in and out. If you do forget to pack it away, it will pack itself up when you go to drive off. Nice solid entry door here with triple locking with the external screen too, so that's nice. We can open that to have a fly screen. So you've got airflow there. And as you just saw I did it all with one hand, so pretty simple. Customers added a grab rail here which I like, otherwise there is grab rails inside here as well. So nice step area that's in there. Got umbrella holders, intake for the heater. On the outside, we see nice big windows. Our principal windows is always the biggest that fits. Outside lights, the 360 camera system. You can see the satellite dish up on the roof there. So storage is something that really sets our motorhomes apart. We'll open all of them as we go around. So we've got a nice big external drawer. It's quite large. See we've got all the accessories that come with the motorhome. So things like hoses, tow bar attachments, leads, all of that all comes part and parcel. Now all of the locks look like this, they've got electronic locking on them as well. So you just push the button and that lock. Now we've got the storage area that's under the kitchen. So standard we've got the outside television that comes out. Very easy to use. That's linked up to your satellite television. As well as the antenna on the roof. And they've added a barbecue which they supplied. We just did a tie down strap for it, so that area is perfect to store a barbecue. We do provide standard the bayonet point here, so you've got somewhere to plug in the barbecue. You've got your nice stainless steel covers for the wheels, outside power point, fold down table. That's good. Gas bottles, so you've got two fours. So the biggest user of gas in these is actually uh, your hot water system. So you use a bit of cooking as well, but with the instant hot water, you can have 20 or 30 minute shower if you like. And <laughs> obviously that'll use a little bit of gas, but the convenience is very nice. And it just comes out on the slide for easy access. hand here while I'm holding the, other, uh, the camera in my other hand. Batteries. Alright, so let's have a look at the battery compartment. So in here, We've got the 240 volt circuit breaker box at the front. We've got an isolation switch for the battery. 300 amp hour lithium battery from Enerdrive. 
3000 watt inverter. That is an upgrade on this model. Um, and the Red Arc battery management system and control system there. Everything's neatly labeled and laid out. Very serviceable, very easy to maintain. On the roof, 720 watts of solar. We'll have, so also have standard now a small 5 amp SIGTEC charger to maintain the truck battery. So that's really just for when you're storing the motorhome to keep that truck battery in great condition. Bumper bar on the back, you notice here it's actually separate to the body. So if you do damage this, it won't damage the body. It gives you a little bit more buffer zone before that happens. This is aluminium and it's painted to match. Tail lights integrated there nicely. The nice hard cover on the back, standard. They've added a ladder on the back there. And you can see the other camera there. So there's four of these cameras around the vehicle which integrate into the 360 camera system. Yeah, yeah, more lighting on top there. And the antenna on the roof there as well. So you've got satellite dish as well as a antenna for local television. Tow bar standard. And the uh, continuous water system here as well. And you can see the small tailpipe here at the back. And you can see that in the shadow there. That's for the generator. So it keeps the noise the things as far away from the camping area as possible. The graphics on this one are nice. This is what we refer to as the bold design. So there's two designs uh, that are available um, and then occasionally customers will have a, a full custom deal as well. But this one's really popular. It's what we refer to as the bold design and the bottom color is magnet gray metallic and the blue is Apollo blue. So if you're looking at that uh, and if you're a customer that's got an order with us and you like these colours, just shoot me a, a message and I'll send you through the list of the colours. Um, so out here we've got the water fill for the fresh water tank. So you've got 310 litres of fresh water. You've got your town pressure inlet. So you hook your water onto that, leave your pump off and you'll use water directly from the mains. Power inlet. So all your services are all hooked up right here. Um, and then you've got your outlets underneath for your toilet pump out and your grey water drain as well. Uh, we're still even with the uh, electric flushing toilet, which this one's got. We still have access here, one for serviceability, and two, it's a convenient spot to you know, put uh, toilet type stuff, I guess you'd say. So if you've got gloves, hand sanitizer, all that kind of stuff, everything's nice and accessible there. That's convenient. There's more storage down here. And that's actually often where people end up putting all their hoses and leaf, the smaller bin, but it's perfect for that. Uh, you can see the generator under there. So again, another standard feature. It's a, a Dometic Tech 29, so it easily runs the air conditioner as well as charging batteries and things. And you can see on the ground there, the uh, leveling system as well. So there's four legs. Customer just hits auto level and will do its thing. And again, like most things, there's an app on your phone if you want to control that from you your phone as well. It's a nice big slide out awning on top there to keep leaves and stuff off the top. You've got your know, wiper seal. I've had a few people ask me about how this works. So there's a wiper that actually wipes any water that's on the slide off as well as the bulb seal in and out. So very waterproof and dustproof which is a good thing. All right now we talk about this in most of the videos but another thing that sets us apart is the fact that our lower storage lockers here actually come out with the slide out. So you'll see with most of our competitors, these either one don't exist because their mechanism takes up space, or two, they've got to crawl underneath the slide out to get to it. So it makes it very accessible. So that's a, definitely a positive. I love the blue, a bit of a blue fan on the outside. That Apollo blue is really nice. All right, more storage. This is in up the bed area. And you can access this from inside, at least some gas struts. Easy. Under here you've got a 12 volt socket, and a 240 volt power point, so if you've got any accessories under there, you might have electric bike batteries or tools or whatever, you've got those on charge ready to go. More storage under the lounge and that access door accesses the same area. And then you've got your locker that's under the slide out. And again, because of the way we've designed this, it actually is accessible with the slide out out. And they're quite large bins too. And you'll notice the um, storage bins are constructed from aluminium, so it's three mil aluminium. It's very, very strong. We don't have load limits on these. Um, 
um, I can't think of anything someone would put in there that's going to come anywhere near the actual mechanical limits of those. Very strong and also the load capacity of the truck is very high too. So when uh, these are all finished, full of water, full of fuel, everything all weighed, and we've still got around 1.6 tonnes of payload. It's very evenly distributed as well. Don't have to over worry about customers overloading these. There's that other camera just there. You can get events for your fridge, nice big windows. Have other side, step the other side. And the ad blue on these ones is on this side, and the uh, diesel fill is on the other side. We see the leveling legs under here as well. So there's extra leveling legs there. Nice integrated header there. And then the nudge bar standard on the front with the camera integrated on the front there as well. So that camera system is what gives us that bird's eye view that you see in a lot of modern cars now. So it helps you parking and manoeuvring. And also just in general traffic, you can help see around. All right, that's a bit of an overview of the outside. Let's head on the inside. So this one's got the L-shaped lounge, which most of the Element 27s that we build will have that. You can also get the dinette option. Basic overview of colours, oak white floor, slate grey gloss as the feature colour for the cabinets, arctic white is the main colour, platinum for the slashback, gun barrel for the leather, and oh, I can't remember what that one's called, but if you... Like I said while I was outside, if you like the colours in this one and you want this for yours, just shoot me a message and I'll send you the list. Alright, right, so we'll start at the front. So as I mentioned before, this is the latest model of Echo. It's got all the option packs, it's got the upgraded navigation, the multifunction steering wheel, the higher output engine, things like Apple CarPlay, heated seats. Now we trim the seats, I often get asked that. The, the seats are the higher spec seats from Iveco, but then we actually trim them in the leather colour that you choose. And obviously you can't feel it through the screen, but this is a very high quality leather. It's genuine leather, it's automotive grade. It's quite thick, so you don't get that thin papery feel that you often do. You can really touch it and feel it and know that it's a much better grade than what you often see. Uh, we hit the 360 camera screen here, so this is a 10 inch screen, nice and big. You've got the leveling system controls here, so nicely situated just there. And as I mentioned earlier, there's an app for your phone too, so if you want to control it through your phone, you can. Nice storage compartments here, this is all leather trimmed to match. Nice big deep area in here, all beautifully lined. So even the bits that you don't really see are finished off really nicely. Neat little reading lights. You'll notice these around the vehicle situated in areas of the work. They've added a Socro fan, more storage. It's nice, nice shelf up here. There's quite a bit of space here too. So when you're driving, that's a good spot. You know, put your hat, phone keys, whatever up there. All right, they've added this curtain too, which is pretty cool. Quite a cab divider curtain. So that's nice. Very quick way of adding privacy to the front. Just on that, the front window uh, and the side doors get a product from uh, a, a solar screen type setup. So they're tailor fitted covers that fit in there that add insulation and privacy. Okay, front pantry. So lots of shelving and space in here. You've got your appliance cupboard. So the idea of this one here is you can have a coffee machine, toaster, kettle, whatever bits and pieces there. There's a power point with a hole just stuck in behind there. You can leave that all set up. And you've got that vertical lift door that comes down in front. Lots of nice drawers. Something that you uh, often point out on these videos is the quality of the latches. So these are all solid stainless steel. No little plastic clips or magnets we're trying to rely on or 
you know, Kenley, the clips, and then these beautiful Blum Legra box drawers. So notice no visible runners, it's all underneath. Very high quality. It's pretty much the best you can buy. So, so close. Very solid. So as long as the doors, or the door or drawers are closed, they're locked. And again, you'll notice all the low stuff will generally have drawers for better access as well. Very nice. Got that gas detector down here. Grab handle. So obviously safety wise we've got gas detector, smoke alarm, CO2 alarm, fire extinguishers, all those kind of things. Nice chopping board set up that's put into the sink there. Get your water filter tap here, so you've actually got two little spouts, one for drinking water, one for hot and cold. Again, nice big drawers. Got your blum cutlery tray that fits in and the texture of this has got like a rubberized coating too so that stops things moving around your foil and cling wrap dispenser and supply more drawer space great big drawers it's a bit hard to gauge how big that is but from here to here it's about 555 centimeters from there to there so it gives you some indication of the size Windows. I think I can forget the windows. So the windows have got the full block out blinds, which comes up from the bottom, and the fly screen from the top. And the fly screen, we can't see it, but it is a black colour, so it's less likely to get dirty from the red dust and stuff. So that's what it is. And the windows, you just pull in and out, like so. So wherever you want, push it to it, and you get airflow, close it all the way up, the latch are closed. That's pretty nice. Very easy to use. You got the under cabinet lights there, the kitchen area, overhead cupboard storage. Very solid. Everything's glued and screwed and interference fit. Even these hinges here, they're like an expanding fitting that locks in. Again, soft close, beautiful. Nicely integrated range for there. So you notice there's nothing above it because the fan closed directly outside. It's beautifully integrated in here. Very nice. Double power points behind the kitchen. You got your stove. Now you can get this with three gas burners or like in this case one electric and two gas burners. The oven has a gas oven and a grill in there and there's more storage underneath there as well. Standard type microwave there. Nice, lots of bench space. So the bench is nearly two and a half meters long. So it's quite a lot of kitchen space. All right, 32 inch television. This is a Samsung. We've been using Samsung for a number of years now for this. So that's a smart TV. And it's got a bracket from behind, which if I can do this. So that brings the TV out to a better viewing angle than just fold it away. And to lock it back in place, just push it with two hands, click in the place. Glass box at the top and a nice shelf there for any other accessories you've got. Behind the TV there's also extra power points so if you do have any accessories it's all pretty wide and ready to go. All right. The table does go up and down and swivels around. There's lots of room on the lounge there. They've added these little curtains. More overhead cupboard space and everything's solidly latched too so even the overhead cupboards not coming open at all when you're driving. It's our drawers. You've got the red arc screen, so you've got one next to the bed there. So you can turn things on and off, look at your battery level, water level, all of that. And there's one as you enter the motorhome as well, as well as an app on your phone, <laughs> like everything. Under bed storage, it's nice. Added that other soccer fan there. And the mirror on the back, which I think is pretty cool, adds to the uh, room a bit. Got your Fusion Audio Stereo, outside speakers, nice big wardrobe with the pull-out arm rails. Big drawers for the wardrobe as well.
bathroom. So like I mentioned when we were outside, this one's got the marine flushing toilet. So we've got a choice when we build these, we can have a cassette toilet with a ventilation system or the marine flushing toilet. And there's pros and cons with both of those. So there's not one is better than the other. It's just a matter of understanding uh, the pros and cons of each one and we can help you make that decision as well. Um, you've got the washing machine here. Nice and easy to access. You've got your control for your hot water system, power point, as well as an override for the light in the bathroom. Lots of cupboard space up high. This is quite big, this cupboard's a bit hard to kind of appreciate how big that is, but it's quite large. Then more drawer space. And then down below, a little bit of cupboard space, but mainly access to the hot water system. And we do put a bit of effort into the design of these to make sure that all the various appliances and things are accessible for any servicing they might require through their life. Shower's big. So this one's got the, the seat moulded in, which everyone gets now. Uh, soap dispenser. This is a little towel rail and a drying rack. So that pulls out. You got somewhere to hang your socks and jocks to dry. I saw the shower head. And you notice the door is very solid. So it's all worked out and you've got it so it closes off and gives you some privacy in here as well. It's just your travel lock, so put that across when you're driving and you're all set. Alright guys another element 27 going out now you might have spotted on our socials we delivered another one last week which unfortunately I didn't get a chance to do a video on but if you did see that one and you like the colors just keep an eye on it keep it in your notes you can go off those as well very very nice Alright, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, call the office, reach out on socials, any of the ways we do it now in 2023. Appreciate you watching the video. Until the next one, and have a great day. Thank you.